It's great to have you back as we start session number 22. And if you follow this program correctly, you've now worked diligently for eight weeks and you should be seeing some real progress in your strength and flexibility as we work towards strong side splits just like this. Now, if you notice in this shot, I'm wearing ankle weights, just like I said a few times in the previous videos. And while I really encourage you to get yourself a pair and work through the final sessions with leg weights on, it's not an obligation. It's not compulsory, of course. It's just an excellent way for us to continue increasing our strength at our max ROM. And just before we start, as always, I'm gonna encourage you to start from the start of the program, to start from session number one, if you haven't done any other previous training for strong side splits. It's really for your safety and for your success. But if you have, if you've worked through each previous session to get here, then let's start. Okay, let's start off with our squats. And even now at the start of the session, practice intelligent repetition. So stay aware of everything that you're doing, okay? One, two, three. Easy with these first reps. Four, five, six, seven. Always work on great technique. Eight, nine, 10. So stick your butt back. 11, 12, knees behind your toes, 13, 14, 15, we're halfway there, 16, 17, 18, increase your depth a little, 19, 20, 10 more to go, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, three more to go, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, you've made a great start. Our next warm up exercise is our ham spines. And again, stay focused. You don't need to smash yourself in a warm up, but you do need to perform excellent technique, okay? 30 ham spines. One, two, focus on your hamstrings. Three, keep your back straight. Four, five, shoulders back and look up. Six, keep your chin up as well. Seven, eight, engage your hamstrings first. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we're halfway, so take it a bit further. 16, 17, see if you can take the stretch lower. 18, 19, 20, we've got 10 more to go. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, five more to go. 26, 27, still stay focused. 28, 29, and 30, excellent, well done. That's our second warm up exercise done. Let's move into our third warm up now, elbows, knees. And we've got 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 20 to go, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, halfway, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, great work with your third warm up exercise. Let's get straight into our fourth warm up exercise our side squats. And with your 15 side squats, remember to stay focused. Okay, let's go. One, and one, two, and two, stay focused, three, and three, work that great technique, four, and four, five, and five, six, and six, seven, and seven, breathing going down, eight, 
and eight. We're past halfway now. Breathe out going up. Nine and nine. Ten and ten. We've got five more to go. Eleven and eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Last side squats coming up. Fifteen. And fifteen. Okay, great. Side squats are all done. Let's move into our fifth warm up exercise now our side leg ups. 20 side leg ups now, and this is the first exercise that you're really going to feel your ankle weights. And with them on, you really need to take it easy and take complete control of the lift. Definitely do not swing your leg with ankle weights on. Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, we're halfway, 10 more to go. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, let's work through the other leg now. And one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, great work with your side leg ups. Let's complete the warm up now with our front leg ups. And just be careful with those leg weights on as you do your front leg ups. Make sure that each time you lift your leg that you do it with complete control. Definitely no swinging, just lift with control. Let's go. And one, two, three, four. Focus on stretching your hamstrings. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Keep your back straight. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Okay, let's get the other side done now. One, two, three. Keep your back straight still. Four, Five, six, control that leg. Seven, eight, really try not to swing your leg. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, last one. And 20. Okay, great. That's the whole warm up done. Let's get ready to move into the first exercise of the first cycle of today's session our side splits and pancake. Okay, for the rest of the session, we'll be doing 30 reps of each exercise, except for our side splits and pancake splits here, just the same as last week. And we have 45 seconds for our two reps, so you can start now with feet wide and then lower yourself down with a long eccentric contraction letting your feet out wider and then pause with an isometric hold for another few seconds and then repeat. Eccentric down for a few seconds, isometric hold for a few seconds, eccentric down, isometric hold and just repeat that without rushing. By about 30 seconds you should be at or very near your max ROM. Okay, that's 30 seconds, so in the last 15 seconds, ease back into the seated splits and then lean forward into your pancake splits. Hold there for as long as you can, and then that's 45 seconds now, so let's move into our next rep. Okay, second rep now, and you have 30 seconds to lower yourself down again and let your feet out wider. And remember, eccentric contraction to let your feet out wider, isometric to hold, and then repeat all the way down to your max ROM. 
And of course, you can use your hands as soon as you need to, but try to let your adductors do the work for as long as possible. Okay, that's 30 seconds. So now in the last 15 seconds, get yourself seated down and then lean forward into the pancake splits. Okay, finish up there for now. Ease out of that position carefully with your ankle weights on and then we'll get into our side squats. Okay, great. Let's get our side squats done. We have 30 to do in 2 minutes 30. And I know side squats aren't easy. Like I said before, they are tough for me too, but they're so important for strong side splits, okay? So do your very best for 30 reps and remember to hit a stretch before you go into the next squat. Okay, one and one, two and two. Focus on a great technique. Three, three, get that stretch, four, Four. So stretch before you lift. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. And we've got 20 more to go. Eleven. Eleven. 12, 12, 13, 13. Squat out after the stretch. 14, 14, so you can stretch your adductors. 15, 15, and we're halfway. 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, we've got 10 more to go, 21, 21, keep it up, 22, 22, 23, 23, 24, think of the payoff, 24, 25, 25, 26, 26, we're almost done. 27, 27, 28, 28, 29, 29, last one, 30, and 30. Okay, great work with your side squats. Let's keep moving. Our next exercise is our side leg ups. And with your ankle weights on, I'll say it again, you really need to completely control the movement, okay? Control your leg. Don't swing your leg. We've got 30 reps. Let's go. One, two, three. Remember control. Four, five. Don't swing your leg. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're halfway to 30. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more to go, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, last one, and 30. Okay, great work there. Quickly change it over and we'll work through the other leg. One, two, three, always control, four, five, so no swinging your leg, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, use your abductors, sixteen, seventeen, so abductors lift, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 10 more to go, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, one more, and 30. Okay, you've done really well with that set. Keep it up and we'll move straight into our next stretching exercise, our knee splits with no hands.
Okay, for knee splits with no hands, you need to have your back tall and upright and you need to push your hips forward, okay? So that way the front of your torso is in line with the front of your hips, okay? So you're flat across the front all the way down from your shoulders to your knees. So set your knees wide and let's go. One, two, three, four, back upright, five, six, push your hips forward, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, we're halfway, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Great job with your knee splits. You've now finished the first cycle of exercises. Let's keep moving and start our second cycle with side splits again. And we have 45 seconds for each rep of side splits. Let's use the first 30 seconds to ease down into our max ROM. Remember, eccentric down and isometric hold. Repeat that every few seconds, or faster or slower, or however feels best for you. Eccentric out, isometric pause. And that's 30 seconds, so use the final 15 seconds to sit back carefully and then lean forward into our pancake splits. And second rep now, really focus on a controlled eccentric contraction. So your adductors are still contracting, but only enough to stop you from really moving down too fast into your max ROM. It's like, again, you're just easing on the brakes. And every few seconds, pause and hold yourself there for another few seconds, and then let your feet slide out wider again. Pause and hold, and then slide out further. Okay, it's time to get into our pancake splits again. Lean forward and down, and then you can start to move into our next exercise, our side squats. Okay, let's do our side squats again and set your feet really wide to get into position. And we're doing 30 again on both sides with great technique. Remember again, get a stretch with each rep, okay? Let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, keep it intentional, four, four, okay, so keep it deliberate, five, five, six, six, control each rep, seven, seven, eight, Eight, and breathe with each rep. Nine, nine, ten, ten. Remember to contract your adductors. Eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve. So contract with each stretch. Thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen. And 15, we're halfway to 30, 16, 16. So set your feet wider if you can, 17, 17. Take the stretch further, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, 21, 21, 22, 22, 23, 23, 24, 24, 25, 25, 26, 26, 27, 27, 28, 28, 29, 29, 30, 
and 30. Excellent work with your second set of side squats. Let's keep moving now. We need to get ready for our next exercise, side leg ups. And remember with these, you need to be really careful with your ankle weights. If you don't control the movement, if you just swing your leg, yeah, that's not gonna be really safe. So control your leg, use your abductors on the outside of your leg, okay? And one, two, three, always control, four, five, no swinging your leg, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we're halfway to 30, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, one more, 30. Excellent, let's do the same for our other leg now. One, two, three, four. Use your abductors, five, six, seven. Lift with your abductors, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more to go, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Great work with your side leg ups. Let's use the time now to get ready for our next exercise, the knee splits. And with our knee splits, just like before, I'm gonna encourage you to take it really careful with these as you find a balance between getting a good stretch without straining or injuring yourself. Okay, so take care with your 30 reps. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, sitting up straight and upright, seven, eight, nine, 10, push your hips forward, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, stretch your adductors, 17, 18, and contract your adductors, 19, 20, 10 more to go, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Excellent, that's really great work. You've finished the second set of knee splits now. Make sure you're ready for the next stretching exercise, our side splits. And we have 45 seconds for our two reps, so you can start now with feet wide and then lower yourself down with a long eccentric contraction, letting your feet out wider, and then pause with an isometric hold for another few seconds and then repeat. Eccentric down for a few seconds, isometric hold for a few seconds, eccentric down, isometric hold, and just repeat that without rushing. By about 30 seconds, you should be at or very near your max ROM. Okay, that's 30 seconds. So in the last 15 seconds, ease back into the seated splits and then lean forward into your pancake splits. Hold there for as long as you can, and then that's 45 seconds now, so let's move into our next rep. Okay, second rep now, and you have 30 seconds to lower yourself down again and let your feet out wider. And remember, eccentric contraction to let your feet out wider, isometric to hold, and then repeat all the way down to your max ROM. And of course, you can use your hands as soon as you need to, but try to let your adductors do the work for as long as possible.
Okay, that's 30 seconds. So now in the last 15 seconds, get yourself seated down and then lean forward into the pancake splits. Okay, finish up there for now. Ease out of that position carefully with your ankle weights on and then we'll get into our side squats. Okay, great. Let's get our side squats done. We have 30 to do in 2 minutes 30. And I know side squats aren't easy. Like I said before, they are tough for me too, but they're so important for strong side splits, okay? So do your very best for 30 reps and remember to hit a stretch before you go into the next squat. Okay, one and one, two and two. Focus on a great technique. Three, three, get that stretch, four, Four. So stretch before you lift. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. And we've got 20 more to go. Eleven. Eleven. 12, 12, 13, 13. Squat out after the stretch. 14, 14, so you can stretch your adductors. 15, 15, and we're halfway. 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, we've got 10 more to go, 21, 21, keep it up, 22, 22, 23, 23, 24, 24, 25, 25, 26, 26, we're almost done. 27, 27, 28, 28, 29, 29, last one, 30, and 30. Okay, great work with your side squats. Let's keep moving. Our next exercise is our side leg ups. And with your ankle weights on, I'll say it again, you really need to completely control the movement, okay? Control your leg. Don't swing your leg. We've got 30 reps. Let's go. One, two, three. Remember control. Four, five. Don't swing your leg. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're halfway to 30. 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more to go, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, last one, and 30. Okay, great work there. Quickly change it over and we'll work through the other leg. One, two, three. Always control. Four, five. So no swinging your legs. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Use your abductors. Sixteen, seventeen. So abductors lift. Eighteen, nineteen. 20, 10 more to go, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, one more, and 30. Okay, you've done really well with that set. Keep it up and we'll move straight into our next stretching exercise, our knee splits with no hands.
Okay, for knee splits with no hands, you need to have your back tall and upright and you need to push your hips forward, okay? So that way the front of your torso is in line with the front of your hips, okay? So you're flat across the front all the way down from your shoulders to your knees. So set your knees wide and let's go. One, two, three, four, back upright, five, six, push your hips forward, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, we're halfway, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, great. With our knee splits done, we've almost finished our session. We just have one more exercise to do, our max hold at our max ROM. So now that you're all warmed up, really set your feet out wide and ease into your max ROM. Use the, the eccentric isometric technique to help get yourself out as wide as possible. And then when you are there in your max ROM, do a much longer isometric hold. Really hold yourself there for as long as you can. And done. That's all for session number 22. Great work. I hope you've seen some really nice progress in your strength at your max ROM today. I also hope that you got a good feel of working with your ankle weights. If you're following my example, you're only wearing about one kilo on each ankle. For me, I find that normal movements like uh, walking, that's not too awkward or anything, but movements at my max ROM like, like leg ups and kicking drills, they often feel really awkward. It'll just take me time and practice. Anyway, because we're talking about ankle weights, I want to give you a tip about wearing ankle weights, specifically wearing ankle weights in the splits. What you'll find is that if you wear the, the weight package or the, the weight lump where the, the bulk of the weight is in your ankle weights, depending on how you wear them, then you might find that they actually hinder you from entering the splits. And that's what I found at the start. And if that's the same for you, then you can just turn the ankle weights so that the weight is out of your way. Pretty obvious uh, solution, right? Of course, but, but what I found as my flexibility improved was that I could use the ankle weights to help suspend my body in the splits. So my ankles would be the only part of my body that was in contact with anything, which really trains the adductors to be strong there at my max ROM. And yeah, when you feel you're ready for it, you can try that too. Okay, for now, let me know how it all went with your session today and if you have any questions. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel and check out all of the other 10,000 method progressive training programs. And then when you come back in two days time to follow the next new video in the series, we'll add one more rep to each of our stretching exercises and continue training for strong side splits. And as always, stay disciplined.